student athletes have the same concerns about going to college as all soon to be college freshmen. Where am I going to live? What classes should I take? And what is it going to be like living away from home? But as Jordan Sukup and Brady Bonte with Sanford Power know, it takes more than, a sign, more than signing a national letter of intent to truly prepare for college athletics. They're here to tell us more about Sanford Power and how it can help make sure your student athlete is ready for college competition. But I know we're talking about signing and being a high school senior and going to college, but how early does this actually start? I mean, Honestly, when are they starting to prepare for this? Well, it kind of depends on like the athlete's ability and skill level. If they're if they're a very talented kid, it could start as soon as 14 for some of them, to be honest with you. If they're in travel ball or anything like that, and then for others, you could say like a late bloomer or something like that. It may be later on, but regardless, there is some stress and pressure that comes with it. Whether you get attention earlier or later, there's still obviously the stresses and pressures that come with it, like like you stated earlier. Yeah. yeah, it's really starting. It's really starting out early, and these kids face a lot of pressures. You know from experience because you did play at the collegiate level. How does it help to have something like Sanford Power in the in the start of it all, training you? Yeah, and I mean it's something that goes with it. And I mean it's you get these goals at such a young age. You want to play college football or baseball, soccer, or what may it be. But you have these people now that can kind of help you get you going in the right direction and development and, and where you go but um, those goals start at such a young age and there's no hurry to do that development because you want to build that right foundation but at the same time you you're, you can't waste a ton of time at this I mean and, and try to backtrack we want to make sure we're doing this right and that's kind of where we come in and, and help out. So talk to me a little bit about what you are doing at Sanford Power to prepare college, college level athletes. I mean, honestly, for both of us, I can I can say that we're just trying to build the right foundation, just kind of teach them the fundamental movements in the weight room, kind of get them excited about being in the weight room so that if they have an opportunity to go be a college athlete, they're as prepared as possible. Because something we try to stress to both of our athletes is, as a college athlete, you're going to spend the majority of your time in the weight room. In the weight room, so you're going to be doing a lot of weight lifting. Yep, like any, like performance training, whether it's sprint work, agility work, lifting, anything to improve athletic performance. Just because when you become a collegiate athlete, and you can speak to this, you don't have the travel ball or the practices or the tournaments anymore. Like your sport is kind of like your full time job. So when you're not in season, you'll be with that strength coach in the weight room for a majority of the time, and they're probably going to know you best and be with you more than your coaches are for throughout your collegiate career for sure. Now I feel like this is such a stressful thing as a high school student to be thinking about your career in athletics and what you're going to be doing and where you're going to go in National Signing Day. How do you help them manage that sort of mental game with the physical game? Yeah and, and that's something that we come into too as well. When we spend so much time with these kids and we create this connection with them over, I mean, like he said, to working with them every day or every other day throughout their whole high school career, yeah. just having somebody that they can go to talk to and try to kind of vent a little bit about, hey, I'm stressed about going to this college or that college, and just getting them to just take a deep breath and, and just help them try to pros and cons of what they're trying to do, where they're trying to go, is their goals in line with what they're doing, um, and that's definitely where we come in and the connection we build with these kids. Yeah, for sure. And we just want them to enjoy their high school experience as, as much as possible. I mean, I know they're excited for the future, but you only get to be a high school yes, athlete exactly. once. And in my opinion, like, there's nothing better than being a high school athlete where you get to play in front of your, your family and your friends and your teammates yep. consistently night in and night out. So That is so great to hear you talk like that about how you want these kids to enjoy high school. And I heard you yep. say earlier that there's no rush. No. I mean, you want to get in yep. there and, and know what you're doing, but there's not this big rush. And I think kids these days, they feel so much stress. So yes. you're kind of there grounding them in a way. Yeah. Enjoy high yep. school. For sure. You don't need to be rushed. You know, don't get hurt. Yeah. And, and it's tough for them to kind of wrap their head around it right away. But at the end of the day, a lot of these kids, they went to elementary school together and then they went to middle school together. And now they're playing high school football or high school sports together. And that, I mean, as that goes through and as you grow older, I mean, there's no rush to move on to college when you, when you have this stuff in high school that you really want to um, enjoy and hold on to and things to actually have fun with. Yeah. Do you have any of your athletes go to college, play sports, and then come back and tell you, you know, these are the things that I did with you that really made a difference? 
Yeah, for sure. I mean, I hope so at least. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yeah, we do. I think honestly what kind of makes our job the best in the world in my opinion is not so much like the physical aspect or like drills or things that we did in the weight room, but just the connections and how yeah. they come back and say like, hey, like you really were there for me or you held me to a standard and you just kind of had my back and looked out for me like regardless of a good day or a bad day. So those are the things that kind of touch us the most and mean a lot in our profession. What we yeah, do. And, and that and, and that goes to show when we're holding these kids to these standards in our weight room and, and we're having them follow these guidelines that we put them on and keep them, I mean, develop work ethic and things like that, that stuff really helps them as they go into college and they understand they step in a weight room with a, a full-time strength coach with a college strength coach. They, they don't need a ton of time with him to understand how to operate in that college scenario because we help give that uh, environment to them in high school in just a, a smaller sense. You're giving them a little bit of that, yeah. of that feel, yeah. yep. so we're it's like, not so foreign. We're like the velvet bricks, you could say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we got to be kind of hard on them at times. They know a standard. We make that standard clear, and we got to hold them accountable that to that standard. But then the velvet side is like, I mean, I think you can agree with this. Like, our kids at the end of the day know that. We love them. We have their back 100% of the way. So, like, maybe at times, like, we're not their best friend, but they know that comes from a great place, and yeah. we're just trying to set them up for success going forward. Whether they are a college athlete or not, we want them to have success with whatever they kind of embark on going forward in the their lives. The velvet so. bricks might be the, my favorite thing. I've never heard that expression oh, before, yeah. but you got to be the velvet bricks. Yeah, that velvet is... brick, yeah. It's not something I made up. I took it from someone. That's that's really, like a, I really like that. Yeah, that's like a strength coach thing. We just kind of yeah. plug and take from each other. But So real quick before we go, what is the best thing about signing day for you guys? Like, what's... You want to go first? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's just seeing these kids accomplish goals that they set so early on. And, you know, as far as from my point of view, it's not so much oh, I signed to play football at this D1 school or to run track at this D1 school. It's just these kids want to continue to be athletes and they want to continue to do that because it keeps them on um, a path where they still can focus on school, but they still have a schedule. So they get to stick to what they're doing and seeing them accomplish a goal is, is one of those seeing things. Seeing those goals accomplished, it, that has to be the best feeling. Oh, Thank yeah. you guys so much for being here today. You're there for those kids when it's a hard thing to do. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. it's good to have that. Well, thanks for having that. us. We yeah, appreciate it. So. Thank you so awesome. much. Sanford Power has been operating in Sioux Falls for 21 years. Their trained professionals are available for training any activity, no matter your ability or age. Give them a call in Sioux Falls at 605-312-7800 or reach out online at SanfordPower.com. Sanford Power was built specifically with the athlete in mind, so whether you are a weekend warrior or student athlete looking to take your game to the next level, they can help you maximize your power.